So I want to go communist here with Australia, and this is going to be kind of a difficult position we're putting ourselves in, because we've got no friends, and ultimately the big bad kid on the block is Japan. When we have to fight them, if we're not ready, we're going to get our butt kicked. So here's a quick rundown of how I think this series is going to go. Video 1 and 2 is obviously going to be me converting over to communism, as well as building up our Australian empire. At this point, we're in a really difficult position, and I'm already starting to build a few things here, but uh, we've got like no building slots open. It's, it's crazy. This is not good. We've got no civilian factories, we've got no naval factories. And this shouldn't be a surprise because we're not a great power as Australia in uh, 1936. Who are we? You know, who are we? So that is a pretty big problem. Um, and that is why it's really, really important that by the end of video three or video four, I've got to be going after the Dutch. And we should have about maybe an entire video before the Dutch join the Allies. And that really all depends on what on what Germany does back in Europe. It's So I, I don't really know. I'm hoping that we'll have a video without the Allies joining in. Uh, but they will eventually. That means that we have to fight the UK after that, which is no big deal. I'm not super worried about it. I'm hoping the, the uh, I'm hoping the British will be out fighting Germany with their navy and, and not worried about me in the Pacific. I mean, but who knows? And then we can go after New Zealand, taking the northern and southern island. We'll open up a few more areas for factories. Uh, and then, like I said in the intro, the ultimate big bad wolf is Japan. And uh, if I'm not ready, yeah, they're, they're going to destroy me. Because I've got nothing going on for me right now. I've got, I've got like, geez, seven divisions, uh, like nine, nine ships, two light cruisers, five destroyers, and two heavy cruisers, and then like 24 planes. Nothing. So I'm really hoping that, I'm hoping that Japan, uh, I'm sorry, I'm hoping that Japan, yeah, I guess I'm hoping that Japan does not take out China too early, but they might, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm worried about it. But let me say one thing. If things go really, really well for us, this is going to be way down the line. We could always go after the U.S. And we, I, I, that's way down the line. But I'm just saying, if this goes really, really well for us, myself and the Soviet Union could take down the U.S. maybe in the Pacific. Or at least we could try. I don't know if that will happen. So first thing on my agenda, because technically as Australia, we are a part of the Allies. And yeah, that's not going to happen anymore. So goodbye. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, sir, you're not Winston Churchill, but uh, you're the you're the other one. Uh, okay, so let me <laughs> so let's uh, go ahead and start this up. We're, we have no uh, specific national focus. Uh, Chamberlain is what I was trying to say. Neville Chamber Chamberlain. Um, we, we're not going to set national focus because we've got to start to to begin a coup. We've got to start the coup. We got to start at the the higher ups. Uh, we got to get some politicians into our governments that are communist. So we're going to begin with that. I've got pretty much everything set up and ready to go, so I'm, I'm just, I don't have much manpower at the moment, so we're going to start with just two basic infantry, and uh, logistics, obviously, we're way behind in infantry, uh, infantry equipment, I should say. Uh, I'm building a few subs because we don't have any subs, and that's going to be kind of important. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty important, true. That's going to be pretty important. We, we got to become a naval powerhouse, so I've got to open up, like I said, we have got to find states, we've got to take over states that will be coastal so we can get more naval, naval dockyards. Because, you know, if playing as a minor power, almost anywhere in the old world, you know, your number one focus is going to be your army, but not as Australia. We've really got to focus on our navy. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we can do that. Uh, now, as we wait, I will more than likely, here, I I'm going to have this go on speed five. Let's, uh, let's group up these guys together and... There you go, Harold. So more than likely, if we were to begin a naval invasion on the Dutch, it would be through maybe these seas, I'm hoping. Yeah. So uh, so let's make sure that we have naval superiority there from the very beginning. Uh, I'll leave my air where it's at. Or my planes, I mean. My air planes. There you go. And uh, we're going to not make the biggest of armies. We're going to make them kind of small because more than likely the Dutch hat don't have anything there either. So... I'm going to bring my cavalry units over here, and uh, we're going to garrison most of my, all these divisions there. That way we have access to this naval port, and uh, and we can just begin with our naval invasions of uh, all these islands, because that's going to be really, really complicated. Then everybody else will go to the, uh, will go to a different army. There you go. Boom. And uh, your assignment will be to go to Papua New Guinea. There you go. And just quickly take that as fast as possible. So we'll go with Thomas, and uh, and you know what? We might as well give you an offensive line too, huh? Even though that's going to take a while to do. 
Did I, did I mess that up? Yes, I did. Okay, boom. So just do something like that. That's fine. Okay. Uh, let's make sure that we also set these plans to aggressive because I already know I'm going to want to play aggressive. It's not like we're going to be fighting this massive army. I don't think we will. Okay, so we're garrisoned. We're ready to go. The cavalry are faster. That's why I want them to do the naval invasions. I mean faster when they get onto these islands. There's going to be a lot of jungle for them to go through mountains in some islands, but uh, we, we just want to take as much territory as quickly as possible. And uh, that way, hopefully, we can take over all of the Dutch territory before even the UK joins in. If we could do that, that would be that'd be amazing. I I, I don't know if that's likely, but uh, that would be obviously amazing. Okay, so here comes 150 political power very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to have to keep my manpower conscription laws at the moment where it's at because at this point, uh, well, we are still democratic. And when we become when we become communists, then we can we can do more fun things. Okay, so communist revolutionary. There we go. So something I've found is it's actually better. There may be support in government itself. Who? Uh, yeah. So so as a nation that's already a certain like democratic or or fascist, if we wanted to go communist, it'd be better to do I think the top choice here, going with a coup. If you were like non-aligned, then yeah, look for a movement for the people. Must seek support from the people. Uh, that's that's my that's that's my kind of uh, uh, experiment with it. I've noticed some good some good things, but uh, yeah, as being democratic already, we really can't do much. Um, I don't know why I threw that in there, but we can't like we can't go to war. Obviously, we can't really do much as a democratic nation. But it's better just to to perform a coup from the higher ups in the government. Okay, so yeah, I went with. Uh, oh, did I mention this? Yeah, we suck. We suck. We've got like no. I'm gonna just get rid of that. We we only have two research slots, and that's kind of normal for a non-great um, power. But uh, hopefully, we can change that. I kind of want to. I kind of want to rush mechanized computing. I needed to go after at least electronic uh, mechanical computing. I, I meant mechanical computing. I'm sorry, not mechanized. What was I thinking? Because uh, two percent, it was only gonna take like 70 days, so it was important that we did that. Um, anyways, okay. And then uh, secondly, we need to go obviously support equipment. So we're going to research that. The music is getting so loud right now. Okay, I'm going to turn that down. Now we can start going after our national focus. So because we only have two research slots, we have got to go after more research slots. Luckily, um, well, this not luckily. I wish Australia had their own specific uh, research tree. But um, but luckily, we have the basic one, which offers at least two. So let's, uh, well, we have to get 50 factories for the second one. So that's why it's even more crucial that we take territory and we open up building slots and things like that. Uh, going down industrial effort will do those things for us naturally, which is nice, but uh, we need we need more. And the only way to get more is by going to war and taking territory and taking islands in our situation. So industrial effort will give us 50% uh, research bonus for industry. Okay, so let's go let's go forward. Um, I probably will go after the silent workhorse next just to get a little bit more political power. Uh, it would be useful in the future. Now, as Australia, I mean, uh, everyone says theorist first. That way we can start to get, you know, experience. Uh, but as Australia, we I'm not as concerned with my army as I am my navy. Obviously, being an island nation like we are, uh, I, I, we got to protect ourselves. We've got to make sure that we've got a pretty dominant navy. Obviously, Italy has destroyed Ethiopia. Re re the real remilitarization. <laughs> I can't even say the words right now. Remilitarization of the Rhineland. Um, yeah, we've got to protect ourselves. So... I think that my number one priority will be going after the uh, uh, the naval. Jeez, what what am I trying to say here? I completely forgot naval doctrine. There you go. That's what I was trying to say. Jeez, <laughs> uh, which is kind of interesting because normally you're not doing that. Normally, most of the time, no matter where you start off with, you know, you're going to focus more heavily on the army. This is going to be kind of a unique campaign because we're we just naturally have to have a strong navy. If we, have, if we want to have a chance of fighting the Japanese, if not, the Japanese will be, you know, landing countless uh, naval invasions all along our shores, and we cannot have that. We cannot have that. All right. So, uh, we do get a boost right here, so I can go for additional production efficiency, which would be nice to get more infantry equipment. Resource gain, efficiency. We That's another reason why we need territory, is we've got, like, no resources out this way. Um, 65 days... 86 days. Let's let's get more equipment. I think that's kind of obviously needed. We're pretty far in the hole, and we're not even... We only have four military factories at this point. We don't even have... We're not even working support equipment or anything. Like, this is... 
kind of a difficult situation that we've uh, we've got ourselves into. But that's that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make it happen. There we go. Leadership purges. Thank you. You you are you're the god, Stalin. Please like us. Please 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 love me. That's all I want is just for you to love me, Stalin. Please take me into your arms. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I think it is important that we go naval theorist. That we we start to get um, some some gain here. Daily naval doctrine. Yeah, that we, we get a little bit of experience and we can start to mess around with those templates and things like that. And then we get a, a, a research bonus, research decrease, I guess I should say. Uh, okay, so what I want to do too is uh, while we're just standing around here, let's start to exercise a little bit. Let's start to train. Uh, do you want this army to start? You will slowly gain experience. Uh, oh, cannot move and suffer 6% attrition. You know, that might, I think it's kind of important that we do this. Uh, it's gonna cut into our manpower, but I think it is important that we... Wait, why did it only ask for that? Why don't you ask me for this, uh, army? Uh, you know, they might be suffering from more attrition, perhaps? No, it's about the same. 6%, 6%. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Whatever. Okay, construction efforts. Two. We've got to, we've got to rush for extra... We've got to rush for extra research slots. Like, this is bad. This is not good. Two will not be enough. Okay, good. And I, I don't want to have to have these guys exercise for too long, just as long as they get Spanish Civil War. All right, so that's pretty early. I don't know about anybody, any of you guys, but I have only seen, I think I've seen Republican Spain win one or two times. National Spain wins every single other time. It's crazy. So uh, that's not good because we'd like Republican Spain to win. They're a majority communist. Let's wait to research naval doctrines. What I would like to do, well, I don't know if we should be doing that right now. I think we should go for the research decrease. It's going to take 232 days, but like, what else are we going to do with two slots? Mm, I don't know. Destroyers would be good, especially subs to uh, 180. Yeah, you know what? We Let's go with some subs. Let's go with some subs that way because we're building these old subs. We can, you know, change that around and, and build the new ones. Yeah, so obviously that would be uh that would be pretty good. Okay, basic machine, very nice. Uh, let's oh, now I'm thinking. Okay, well I, no 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 factory output. Uh, I'm not concerned with people really bombing the crap out of my out of my land because we're pretty safe for the most part. If we do expand in the way that I think we are, uh, I think we'll be pretty safe. So uh, I, I'm not really you know too worried about people bombing my factories and destroying them like that. I think I think we'll be okay in that situation. Okay, let's watch as communism grows. Luckily, as Australia, we already start off with quite a bit of, not quite a bit, but a little bit of communist support. Uh, I think like 2 or 3%. Obviously, not the most, not the best ever. Okay, so just so you guys know, I, I didn't really talk about this, but we're, we're adding building slots and adding civilian factories while we do this. So that's good. And then the, uh, the arm next to that will allow us to get military factories, which is obviously at this point pretty damn important. We're building, uh, we're building civilian factories in Queensland. So uh, that will that will help. We probably don't need as many. We could uh, no. Let's just let's just finish it. Let's just finish it. And we've got no manpower. Fantastic. Oh, you know what? We're probably done with the uh, we're probably done with the exercises. Let me make sure that we stop that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No more exercise for you. Stop suffering suffer nutrition. This army to stop exercise. You won't gain any more experience, and the unit will slowly regain their organization. Yes, yes. I've already got you guys to full, full experience promotions, so that's all that matters. I guess they're called promotions. I don't even. I mean, would this would we would we classify this as a promotion or more of experience gain? Something like that. Something like that. Definitely. Okay, good. So we've got enough political power. Now I'm gonna go for that silent workhorse. Get a, a additional political power. Which will help us get to uh, kind of fill out our government slots a little bit faster. There we go. Bam. And infrastructure has finished. Okay, so like I said, I think the first war is going to begin around... Oh, man, I, I don't like these slots. They're just going to add infrastructure, and it's like, ugh. Well, I guess if you just... I guess if it just gets me to the research slots, then fine. But infrastructure at this point... Is not going to do anything really as Australia, because I'm hoping if if we win this campaign, if if things are successful, we shouldn't have to be fighting uh, in our home continent. I I really hope, but I don't know. I don't know if Japan's going to kick her butt or what. 
I, I, I don't really know. I think I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're going to be so reliant on what happens in Europe with Germany. I, I really hope that Germany takes things slow. I, I don't know. If we don't want Germany uh, to break out with the uh, a war with the Allies soon, I hope that they don't do that. Uh, it'd be better, well, at a certain point, I guess it would be kind of good to distract the Allies. Wouldn't be that bad. I just don't want the, my, my point is, I don't want the Dutch to join too early. That's my, that's my fear right now. Is the Dutch joining too early? Okay, so Landingcraft 2 will be important to get in the uh, 1940s. But at this point, well, 1940, not 1940s. We need to get that early. Uh, let's go with an uh, a stronger destroyer. Uh, should we? There's, there's a lot of other things we have to research. You know what? Yeah, we should probably get motorized. That way we get access to more of our support battalions. I guess so. Okay, so we'll go with that next. And uh, Concentrated Industry is finishing up right now. Where am I at so far? 29 support. So if things went down a little bit, it'll boost back up soon enough. And f there we go. Extra research slot. Okay, bam. Okay, so the research slot will be... Needless to say, I'm not even going to finish that statement. Obviously, it's going to be really, really helpful. It is 1937. Construction speed 10%? Yes. I would like to be, you know, that, like, kind of America. I'd like to have us... There's no way we have the industry of America, but if we could be, you know, really strong in our industry, that would be great. So I'm going to try to focus on on that uh, when it comes to kind of my government slots, the people I hire, things like that, uh, which I, uh, you know, I think, needless to say, I haven't really... Uh, had to I can't really mess with kind of the main laws and governments until I turn communist because we don't know Well, there's some that I could but I can't do anything with the the inscription stuff and uh, We have to wait for the total mobilization anyways Because 50% right now. We've only got you know what 2% world tension. That's nothing. That's not too bad um, uh, You know what who do we who do we want? I don't think this matters. We shouldn't touch this at all yet. Tank designer. I... Division. Yeah, I, I don't know. At this point, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I could... I need to keep in mind that I need to start to back up some of my political power. That way, when I turn communist, we can go straight into... I'm thinking extensive conscription. We don't have that much population in Australia itself. So, we're, we're at the very least going to need this. So that'll, this will be important, but I think it's still too early to be uh, to be saving anything. Industrial effort, actually, this is going to be good. Yes. And actually, yeah, industrial research time, negative 10%. Let's definitely go with that. Perfect. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop right there. But uh, we'll see what happens. Again, we, uh, we're in a difficult situation, but it should be a pretty fun and unique campaign. So our communist coup should be completed by the end of the next video. That means we have to start getting ready for a Dutch war. Really excited for this series. Hopefully you guys are as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.